the which jobs were often filled by young people, but when the recession hit, many of them were squeezed out by adults seeking any work they could get. As the economy improves, there is hope that some entry-level jobs filled by overqualified adults will open up to teens. NPR's Greg Bates examines the prospects for this summer's job market. This used to be a common summer job experience when you were somewhere between 16 and, say, 20. Between July and September, you worked at the fast food joint or maybe back grocery somewhere. But if lately you've been thinking that your bag boy looks a little long in the tooth, it'd probably be because he is. Kulema Blueford is an employment officer for the Los Angeles Urban League. And she says that the disappearance of entry-level jobs teens used to take for granted has become a nasty reality as settlers claim them. As a result of the economic downturn, we had higher level individuals that found themselves unemployed. And so it was it was it was literally a domino effect because they began to settle for lower wage jobs which pushed everybody else down a notch. And which often left teens, especially those in ethnic communities with no notch at all. So when McDonald's held a national hiring day this past Tuesday to fill fifty thousand jobs, it resulted in a deluge of food be employees ready to put on aprons and ask if you want to be supersized. And it's not just burger palaces. Lowe's and Home Depot are hiring thousands of people, mostly for seasonal and temporary work. And banks once shunned by everyone but business majors as to bring to consider suddenly have become very attractive. I don't know, this is the worst year ever, but suddenly we have a lot of applicants on the campuses. And when we post jobs on wellsfargo.com, there are times when we can get hundreds of applicants for an individual job. Pat Callahan is Chief Administrative Officer at Wells Fargo, one of the world of the country's large, biggest banks. Her company is hiring 1,000 young people around the country to work in various capacities this summer. They're happy to help the U.S. Labor Department goals of getting the private sector to make 100,000 hires. But Callahan says this isn't a new initiative for her bank. I actually had my first job in a bank summer intern program in 1976. It wasn't Wells Fargo, but banks have traditionally had summer intern programs, and Wells Fargo is certainly among them, and has been hiring summer people for a quite long time. So this private sector seems not to be the problem. The big issue is that government, which often sponsors teen programs that provide many people with the first jobs, just does not have the funds available and a lot of those programs are being cut. John Challenger is the CEO of Challenger Gray and Christmas. The Chicago-based car corporation is the largest outplacement specialist in the country. Challenger says more jobs opening up. The entry level might actually be filled by teens as older people leave for more lucrative employment elsewhere. And while working the fry basket or filling popcorn buckets at the movies might not be a lifetime employment, John Challenger says more teens jobs like those are essential introductions to the working world. They teach people about reliability, about being on time, give them good customer service skills. So it's a good sign that they are starting to see instead of big mega layoff announcements, like we always talk about a couple of years ago, these big hiring decisions. And he's betting that because of the recovering economy, some of those people who are going to be hired are young people who will have a crack at their first real job. You're listening to NPR News.